Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hi to everyone on the faith spiritual end of YouTube. Welcome to the Deliverance and Restoration channel. I thank God for all of you who support this channel. And I thank God for, you know, taking time out of your day to drop by um, this channel and to support the things that uh, I'm doing for the glory of the Lord. I genuinely thank God for you. God has really been moving on this channel and he's really been speaking and uh, there is spiritual urgency in the Lord to seek him in this hour like never before and to draw closer to him. Um, I just thank God for who he is. I thank God for sending his son Jesus to die uh, for our sins, giving us an opportunity to be redeemed through the bloodshed of Jesus Christ and the power of deliverance that happened on Calvary. I thank God for it. Um, as always, it is always a blessing and a honor to be used by God as an instrument to distribute biblical uh, uh, encouragement and spiritual growth into the lives of others who are seeking uh, growth and to also uh, warn, issue out the warnings of God to give people an opportunity to be accountable to accept the things of God. Um, it is a, a definitely a blessing. There's a word from the Lord this morning uh, through an experience that happened in uh, me and my family's life. And I thank God that I'm now able to share this and I'm gonna share this with you. And I hope that, I hope and pray that something will be said or mentioned that would make a impact in your life and also for your family. Hallelujah, glory be to God. Today, I want to quickly talk to you about God keeps his promises. God keeps his promises. There's somebody that's going to come across this content that needs to hear this. Now, um, there's somebody that's going through something and you need to know that what God spoke in your life will become a reality within the timing of God and by you being in position with God. I've been really dealing with that this week. It's very important to be into position with God to receive the breakthrough and the promise that God has set for you. Be in position to receive what God has. Amen. I'll share this with you. Um, I'm going to talk about what me and my family experienced, and then I'm going to uh, talk about how it relates to your life. I believe that some of the things that we go through in life, God allows us to go through certain situations, certain circumstances, and certain adversities, certain wilderness experiences, certain seasons of being in, 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 in certain seasons of being in transition. And I now that I've grown, grown older in the Lord, hallelujah, I now realize that what we go through in life isn't necessarily just for us, but God allows us to go through things in life so that we can become, that we can be a witness and that we can be a testimony of the power of God, hallelujah, and what God can do into the lives of others. And that is what I love about the Bible because the Bible is a point of reference that lets us know the power of God. We've seen what God did for Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. That's our reference, that God can deliver us in the most worst of, 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 of circumstance. We've seen uh, God show up for David on the battlefield against Goliath with the odds were against him. We've seen God deliver in a variety of ways. Hallelujah. And I love the arsenal of God. Glory be to God, the, ar the righteous arsenal of God never fails when we are in position. Now, not only 
was Noah a Bible reference? Every one of us are a reference of what God can do into the lives of others. You are a living, breathing testimony of what God can do. This situation me and my family experienced and God's promise that he spoke to us came to pass. Um, we had a particular issue, a settlement with this particular company that was due to our family through a transaction um, that we had with this particular company. And this particular company owed us this settlement as far back as as far back as March. And it took five. Listen, the Lord, the word of the Lord just came to pass. Um, yesterday, this company finally released the settlement that was due to our family. God is so good. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Now, this particular company that we dealt with, they refused to release what belonged to me and my family. And it took five months to finally get closure and to finally get victory in this particular situation. And me and my wife would would, would, would reach out to them every day. Uh, she would send out uh, emails and that's her thing. She's so, she's very business uh, oriented, just like myself. And she, she, she's really, she has, she's really good with a play on words in, in sending out professional emails to companies. God has really blessed her in the office side of business. And I made the phone calls and we worked together as a team. It's a team effort. Those of you who are married, it's a team effort. Work together as a team to get the job done and you will see God's glory. And she would uh, email this company, a professional email every morning. And this company refused to resolve anything. I would call them every morning because I knew this settlement was due to me and my family. Hallelujah. And I refuse to quit. Let me encourage you. If you know God said it is yours, do not quit. Hallelujah. I don't care if you're tired, if you're stressed out, keep going after it. If you feel like giving up, keep going after it. If you're discouraged, keep praying and keep going after it. Now, it's very important that you understand that not only are we spiritual, glory be to God, but we live in a natural, living, breathing world. So we have to be spiritual and we also have to understand how to handle the natural. See, not only was it important for us to pray for this to be resolved, but there was some natural movement that me and my wife had to give to allow God's promise to come to pass. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Always re remember where there is a spiritual response. There's always has to be a natural movement that they both go hand in hand. Glory be to God. God spoke to Noah in the spirit and Noah went to working in the natural. He began to build the ark. I always remember spiritual God speaks natural. We give it movement. Glory be to God. So now I will call this particular company and talk to their customer service reps every day. And being the man of integrity I am, I'm big on being professional, being firm, but still being professional and being consistent. And I could never get anything done. Even when I would talk to reps who, who posed as being nice, I still always sensed in my spirit that once the call was over, they truly was never going to fix anything. I thank God for discernment, people. Thank God for the ability to, 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 to identify deception. Now, I went back and me and my wife went back and forth with this company for five months. Glory be to God. We talked to, to, to everyone, the higher ups. We sent out emails to them and I talked to the management staff and they would not release this settlement to my family. Now, the Lord told me that he's going to make sure that me and my family receive this settlement so that we can take care 
of our obligations. Glory be to God, because God knows what we are in need of. And the word says that, and my God shall supply all of our need according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. Glory be to God, that scripture, okay? So God did it. God did it. He gave, he made sure this company released what was ours after five months. Let me tell you something. What God spoke in your life will become a reality within the timing of God. Now, God allowed this to go on for five months. The glory be to God. It was finally released on the settlement was finally released on September the 3rd. Nine is delivery. Three is completion. God, hallelujah. The timing of God. Because somebody needs to know that your present reality is not necessarily your outcome. Glory be to God. And the Lord began to tell me and her to pray. And we kept praying and we kept praying and we kept praying. Let me tell you something. There is power in prayer. Prayer is powerful. And regardless of what you're going through, pray until it breaks, pray until it breaks so that the promise of God can be, can become a reality. Because I believe that God empowers us. He teaches us through adversity. You find out who you are when you're going through adversity. Glory be to God. I felt that one. Because there was moments to where I would call the reps and some of these representatives would get an attitude with, with me. Some of them would be very rude, very short. And in that moment, I wanted to. And in that moment, the enemy would tempt me to get in my flesh and say something ugly back to them. Glory be to God. But the Lord told me to walk in integrity. Be firm. But do not step out into the flesh. Glory be to God. So I stayed in position. I stayed into alignment with God, even though my flesh wanted me to say something. But I held my, my peace and stayed within my safe zone of the integrity of God. Hallelujah. Because God told me if I continue to pray and if I hold my peace and if I walk in integrity, that we, me and my family would get the victory. Glory to God. And there was days to where the enemy would tell us it's never going to happen. You're never going to get these. You're never going to get this settlement. It's not going to happen. Let me tell you something. The devil is alive. There's some of you right now. God has made you a promise and the enemy's told you it's not going to happen. He's told you it isn't going to be a reality, but you have to stand on what the word of the Lord say. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. Never base your praise and worship to God upon Things going well in your life for that season. And even when during the five months I kept praying and we kept praying, let me tell you something. You have to keep praying and keep staying into position with God. There's a whole lot of people when they're going through adversity and when they're going through trials, they turn back to sin because of disobedience and they become distracted. Let me tell you something. You have to learn how to stay into position and to alignment with God as you wait for your promise to unfold. Because the word of God will not come back void. It will do what it was sent out to do as we are in position and alignment with God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I feel the anointing for deliverance and encouragement in somebody's life. There are some of you right now. There's 15, 20 different promises that are waiting to break out in your life. But you have to get into position. Go after it. Go after it, people. Go after it. And this taught me something. We had to endure for five months. Now, note this. We just was homeless for a whole year living in and out of hotels. And I said, God, me and my family just want to relax. We just want to break. And right after God delivered us from that, we still had several other circumstantial things in the balance. And the Lord said, I'm going to show you something. I'm going to make. And God told me that he was going to make sure that we get this settlement from this company. Glory be to God. Let me tell you something. Stand on the word of God, even when your present reality looks contrary to what God said. Now, this is what 
this is what happens. There was other people who had a similar because me and my wife, we we read reviews about we study companies. Any hotel we deal with, we go online and study to find out about their brand and the reputation and what the other people have said about them. There was other people. I always study people study you. You will discover a whole lot when you study. And there was a whole lot of other people who had the same issue that we got. And some of them were posting that they was getting theirs before us. And the enemy would begin to mock us and say, hey, you're praying every day and you've got nothing. You haven't got yours yet. And these people and even these people here don't even love God and they have got their settlement before you. Let me tell you something. Never be envious of the world. If you belong to God and you know that you are in position with the Lord, never be envious of the world because it's just an illusion. The enemy is trying to deceive you and he's trying to to deceive you and get you mad at God. Do not take the bait. Somebody needs to hear that. The enemy has been trying to tell you to get mad at God and, 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 and walk away. Glory be to God. And there was people that saying that there was people who was leaving reviews about this company. And they would say that we would get rude with them. And they were saying stuff like they were, 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 were using profanity to get their settlement from this company. And the enemy would use that and say that, hey, you're not going to get what, what God has for you being professional. And the enemy would try to seduce us and say, you have to be rude. You have to be a narcissist to get the settlement from this company. And the Lord said, hold your peace, hold your peace, stay into position, stay into alignment. And I'm going to make sure that you get what your family deserves. Glory be to God. Let me tell you something. Never step in sin to get stuff. No, do it the Lord's way. There are some people right now you feel like waiting on God, doing it God's way just isn't working. And the enemy is trying to tell you that you need to step into sin to get your blessing. Do not never do it the enemy's way because there are strings attached to it and you will lose. So I so me and my wife will stay into position. We said we're going to continue to pray. We're going to continue to 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 uh, intercede. We're going to continue to offer up prayer and praise unto God until it breaks. People, it is about enduring. You have to learn how to endure whatever God said is yours. Endure. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Keep going after it until it breaks. Hallelujah. I've had moments in my life to where it took years to see a promise that God had for it. I mean, years. People, this walk with God is a fight. It is a fight. Every day is a fight. But if you want it bad enough, you got to go after it. And it, it will break in prayer. Now, we finally came across one one. I left a voicemail with this particular company several. I probably called this company, huh, if I can count, probably a thousand times within five months. I kept going and going and going. My wife probably sent out thousands of, email, of emails. When we know something is ours, we will not stop until we get it. It's about being consistent, people. Be consistent in the spirit. Never give up. Who am I talking to? Never give up. There's somebody right now you feel like giving up because you've been going through this thing for too long. Do not give up because so many of you are so close. And if me and my wife would have given up, we would have missed an amazing blessing. Hallelujah. But we stayed the course and it finally broke as of yesterday. And the settlement was released and we got everything that God had for us. And we stayed in faith and in character during all of it. Glory to God. Because somebody needs to know that God is about to turn your situation around. And God allowed me and my family to go through this because not only was it just for us to receive a blessing in this hour, it was to be a witness of what God can do if you get into position and to alignment with God. Hallelujah. The promises of God will not fail. We have to get into position. One of the biggest failures of people 
is that God gave them a promise, but they won't get into position for that promise to be a reality. Glory be to God. You have to go after it, people. You have to go after it. Because the promise that God gave you, not only is it going to bless you, but it's going to bless your family and those around you. You have to go after it. There's so many people who give up and they get tired and they quit. And they give up. Because they're just tired of going through. There are so many people who walked away from a blessing. There was days away, seconds away from a blessing. And they just Walk away because the spiritual warfare is too intense. I encourage you, do not quit. The promises of God and what God spoke over your life will become a reality. Glory to God. Now, I know there's some of you who are tired and you might say, hey, I've been praying for this for years and I've seen nothing. I understand how you feel. For every blessing that I have 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 talked about on this channel. There's several blessed. There's several prayer requests. I'm still waiting to be answered. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I have unsaved loved ones that I'm still praying for. Glory to God. I've got broken relationships with certain people in my family that I'm still believing for restoration and their salvation and deliverance. I've got loved ones. Or I've got people that's dear to my heart that has aggressive health issues. I mean, just 15 different health issues going on in their body. And I and I still choose to believe God through it. Hallelujah. Sometimes you got to believe God through it, through all the pain. Trust him. Hurting on the inside. Trust him. Tired. Trust him. You feel like giving up. Trust him. You, you, you might feel like living for God just isn't paying off. Trust him fully. Glory be to God. I know how you feel and I'm able to identify with you people. I know how you feel because I've been there. Even after we got back into a home, there was still several prayer requests that still I'm still waiting to be answered. I talk I want to talk to you and not at you. I'm able to identify with how you feel. I know what it feels like to cry yourself to sleep. I know what it feels like to be going through something, waiting on a promise and crying yourself in the car. I know what it feels like to be hurting on the inside. I've been there. I know what it feels like not to want to wake up in the morning because what you're going through is so hard. I've been there. But I'm a living witness. God will bring deliverance. Hallelujah. Glory be to God within the timing of the Lord. The promise that God spoke over your life will come to pass. Particularly if what you believe him for is in the will of God. If it's in the will of God and you're in God's will, it's going to become a reality. Timing. Everything is timing. The timing. Timing. Jesus rose up on the third day. The timing of God. Hallelujah. Joseph was 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 sold into bondage. And in the end, he became a ruler. The timing and the precision of God. Glory be to God. Jesus, the woman had an issue of blood for eight years, but she was eventually delivered. That's the timing of God. The timing of God is crucial. The timing of God is so powerful because many of you, we can never fully understand everything that God does because God is God is light years above our intellect and what we think or what we could ever know. We know in part, even on your best day. Being spiritual. We can never continue or keep up with with the way the mind of God. We, we are limited. So many things God done that I, I don't even understand. There are some things I prayed for 23 years ago and it just not happened this year. Unbelievable. Things that I wish would have took place in my 20s and now I am 43 and I'm just not seeing it. But I understand it's about wisdom. There were some things that I wasn't ready for yet. But now I'm, I'm seasoned, I'm battle tested, I'm proven, I've been tried. 
So I know why, now I know why it took so long for it to become a reality, because I can identify with people. I got more compassion, more of a heart for people. I've been trained in ministry through God's spirit. I know so much wisdom and I thank God for growth. Glory be to God. But God allow us to go through that only to tell you that God is about to turn your situation around and the promises of God will become a reality in your life. And somebody needs to hear that. Do not get mad at God. Your promise will become a reality. Do not go back into sin because you're disappointed. Your promise will become a reality. I know the days are long and the nights are lonely. I know I've been there. Glory be to God. But I'm a living witness. God will deliver you. And when your promise comes, let me say this. When you get your promise, keep God first. Glory be to God. Stay holy. Stay righteous. And never let... Never let the blessings push you away from being focused on God. When the Lord delivered me and my family from being homeless. People probably look at us and say, well, but they have it all together. You, they have no idea what we've been through. We've been through so much as a family, so much as a marriage, so much circumstances, spiritual warfare, dealing with outside influences of people, people's jealousy and their envious people with evil intentions, fake, fake uh, friends, been there, seen it all. But through it all, God has been faithful. Do not let your blessing and the promise that God is about to release in your life allow you to be distracted. Even after we got this house, I was still praying every day as if I had nothing. This blessing that God just just released the other day is just material things. And I'm still praying and preaching harder as if nothing's been given. I say that to say, do not let the blessings of God cause you to lose focus. Because some of you, God is about to blow your mind. God is about to do some things in your life. And the promise that you've been waiting on is about to happen. And when it does happen, do not lose focus, period. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. When the blessings were released into me and my family's life, I prayed harder. Glory to God. I got more serious about the things of God. More serious about growing as a husband, growing as a father, spending more time with my, uh, my uh, three children, developing more as, a, as the head of the, the house. Don't let material blessings cause you to detour from, from, from the things of God. Because there are so many people, they, got, they became blessed and they lost focus. They lost focus because God's promise got, got released and they lost focus. I refuse to be a spiritual statistic of the enemy because of a blessing. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. That is the word. And I pray right now that you will stay into position into alignment with God until what he has promised becomes a reality. Let me tell you this. Do not get do not go back into sin and disappointment as you wait on your promise. Stay in position. Stay in position. Go after it. Go after what God told you that was yours. If you factually have been in position with God and God told you and he promised you, stay into position. Stay in position and wait for the promises of God to, un to unfold in your life. Excuse me. I am a witness. What God spoke will become a reality because he just did it for me and my family time and time again. Stay in position. Stay prayed up. Avoid sin as much as possible. Pray. Seek him fast. Study the Bible and wait and go after and allow God to lead and guide you in everything that you do as you wait for the promise of God to become a reality in your life. I hope and pray that something was said or mentioned that would make a, a impact in your life. As always, I thank God for all of you. Thank you for supporting this channel. 
I, I'm, I'm, I'm very excited about the new things that God is doing on this channel. I thank God for those of you who are standing in the gap, allowing God to use your channel to bring deliverance and healing into the lives of others. I thank God for the genuine fellowship on this channel. I will continue to post up content as the Lord leads. And remember, no weapon formed against you or your family shall prosper. Thank you for dropping by the Deliverance and Restoration channel. God bless you and your family. Goodbye.